there. How are you today? Good. Good. So you're here for an appointment about... Your, okay, about got some gut issues. Okay. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions, just, you know, basic information, and we'll get into your symptoms and things like that, okay? Okay, great. Your full name? Okay. Your home address? Okay. And zip code? Okay. A contact number? Mm-hmm. An email address? Mm-hmm. And this is your first appointment with us, right? Okay, I thought so. And do you mind if I ask how you came to hear about this practice? Mm-hmm. Okay. We just like to know where our patients have heard about us. Yeah. Um, because we, of course, aren't a classic, you know, physician's office. We don't do, um, Western medicine and we don't prescribe things like that. Um, of course, we do believe in that and we do, um, support that and any other choices you want to make about your health. But we are here to provide you with some more homeopathic and lifestyle changes to aid your health. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why most people come here. They don't like taking medicine or prescriptions and, you know, they're worried about the side effects and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you did say that your main complaint coming in today was gut health and gut issues, right? Okay, so, um, can you go into detail on that? Um, well, how many times a day would you say you, um, have a bowel movement? Oh. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm definitely glad you came in then. Yeah, that can definitely cause a lot of issues and discomfort. Mm-hmm. And would you say that's been going on for more than two weeks? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any idea what may have started this? Was there an incident a few weeks ago? Maybe you had a reaction to some sort of food? Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, I'm gonna get into some questions about your lifestyle, your eating habits, exercise, things like that. Okay? Okay. Now, you can stop me at any point if you don't feel comfortable answering any questions or if there's anything you want to add on your own. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, first, I want to ask, um, how would you describe your diet? Healthy? moderately healthy, very healthy, unhealthy. Okay. And um, can you just give me an example of a basic day for you, meal-wise, from breakfast until bed? Just something generalized, you know, you don't have to give me details, but, you know, do you have a balanced breakfast with a protein, fruits, vegetables? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And do you drink coffee in the morning? How many cups would you say you average a day? Okay. And then do you snack throughout the day? Mm hmm Okay. And for lunch? Mm-hmm. Okay. And would that be um, a salad that has mostly veggies and things, or would you say you add all the croutons and things like that to it and dressing? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. That's, that's good to know. And for dinner, what is your average dinner? Do you, you know, eat a protein, a grain, vegetables? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Lots of pasta. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll get into some recommendations later. I just want to get a feel for your daily diet. Do you drink soda? And would that be diet or regular? Okay. Now, you did mention that you snack quite a bit in the evening after dinner. What sort of snacks do you usually eat? 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you have trouble sleeping? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And how many alcoholic beverages would you say you drink in a week on average? Mm-hmm. Mostly on the weekends. Okay. Um, and what kind of alcohol are you drinking? Is it things like beer, things with um, carbonation in them, or things like vodka, mixed drinks? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Do you notice a difference in your gut issues and your, you know, the feeling of your stomach and things like that when you do drink alcohol? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then what about your water intake? Would you say you drink enough water on daily? Mm -hmm. (sighs) Yeah. Okay. And it still hasn't changed. Okay. Okay. Now, for um, exercise, would you say you get at least 30 minutes of exercise five to seven days a week? Mm Mm-hmm. And what type of exercise is that? Okay. Okay, that's so good. That's good. Definitely on the low impact side. That's totally fine. It's just good to get the body moving. Okay, that's good too. Do you go to classes or you do that at home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, are you currently on any medications? Okay, and any vitamins or supplements? Okay, okay. Is that something that you're open to? More supplements, things like that, versus medications? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, and do you have any allergies to medication or anything else? Plants, food? Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, and how long have you had that allergy? Okay. Okay. Great. Okay, so we're definitely going to focus in on your gut health and ways to help with that. Um, And we will get into, you did mention that your sleep has been a bit um, erratic lately. That can be due to gut health. Yeah, Um, your body is so connected. So when one thing is having a symptom and one thing has an issue, it can react in so many ways. Gut health can affect your mind, it can give you headaches, tons of things like that definitely affect your sleep. Mm -hmm. And you did say that your um, bowel movements have been few and far between. So um, when you have that buildup inside of you, it can have a lot of toxins and um, leave you feeling very heavy, weighed down, tired, groggy. Um, it can definitely affect your sleep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I do see your diet. It's not exactly um, balanced for regular bowel movements and healthy digestive tract so i will be giving you some recommendations of different foods and things like that ways to kind to kind of ease into a more healthy balanced diet so that you're not going into shock by cutting out everything at once Mm -hmm. now you did mention you eat protein in the morning and the evening is that a plant-based protein do you you a vegetarian vegan anything like that okay that's good that's good so you only eat chicken and turkey okay Okay, that's good. Um, is there anything you like to avoid in your diet for any reason at all? Makes you feel weird, you just don't like it, anything like that? Okay, okay. So, um, we'll start with your water intake. You did say that you've been amping up your water intake since you've had these symptoms, which is great. Um, but you did say you also only drink about two bottles a day. I try to add a third to that. Um, I would recommend a reusable water bottle that has the times of the day on it because you did mention that you are drinking more at morning and night, but you should be spreading that out throughout the day. It'll help your stomach and everything feel more balanced and hydrated throughout the day. Um, so I would recommend getting a water bottle that you can refill throughout the day that kind of, um, tracks the time that you're drinking it so that you drink, um, an equal amount 
someone until night, okay? It's a little hard to get into, but with the times of the day um, tracked on the bottle, it can really help you kind of stay on track. <gasps> yeah. Okay, so that would be the first thing. Um, I'm not too concerned about your alcohol intake. That shouldn't be too much of an issue. You said that it doesn't make that much of a difference for you. Um, if it does, I would just balance that out with the water intake. So any alcohol you drink, um, just balance that out with 8 ounces of water. Mm-hmm. And you did also mention that you drink soda. Um, I would definitely try to cut that out. If you want something that will provide that sweetness that soda does and the carbonation, I would recommend either carbonated water that has flavors or what I drink. I've actually been drinking it before you came in today. It is called Poppy. It was actually on Shark Tank. Yeah, um, there are sodas that are five grams of sugar or less, and they're also prebiotic sodas, so they help help with maintaining a healthy gut. They actually um, help with your skin as well, and they do contain, contain apple cider vinegar, which is a great ingredient all around for every part of your body. Um, there's lots of different flavors. This is my favorite, the pineapple mango, um, but they have a strawberry lemon, which is really good. They even have a raspberry rose, which I've heard great things about, but I'm personally allergic to that one. Yeah, um, they're taste delicious, they're very good, they're not too sweet, um, and they definitely have the, um, they would definitely fulfill the craving of soda. Mm hmm And they are carbonated, so, um, you get that aspect as well. Mm hmm So I would definitely recommend those. Um, if you want to try to shift away from soda, mm hmm and um, also, that could also be more caffeine in your system. These do not contain caffeine, um, so I would definitely recommend kind of switching to these. Too much caffeine not only will it interrupt with your sleep at night, but too much caffeine can also irritate your gut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, I would I was actually going to recommend you take a shot of apple cider vinegar daily, but if you do switch to those and drink one or two a day, I think that should be enough for now. Um, if you do still have issues in about two weeks, um, I would recommend coming back and or at least giving us a call and I can recommend some bigger changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and you did mention you have a vitamin C tablet every day. Do you know the milligrams on that? Okay, that's good. And do you eat anything with that? Mm-hmm. Okay, I would definitely recommend when you take your vitamins, especially that one, that you do eat something with it, even if it's just, you know, some whole grain toast with jelly or something. Mm hmm Yeah. Um, and now, as for your diet, I know you love pasta. I'm a big pasta eater as well. Um, I would recommend going to either whole grain pasta or pasta alternatives like zucchini or squash. Um, there's also ones at Trader Joe's that are heart, hearts of palm. They're delicious. It's very lightweight, but it gives you that same kind of feeling and texture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would also recommend having at least one fruit per meal and another fruit in between meals. Um, the fiber that is naturally in fruit will definitely help your gut health and help to make bowel movements easier and more often. Um, if you don't have at least one bowel movement a day, I do think there is a problem, which clearly there is. Um, and you, based on what you've told me about your diet, you're not eating enough fiber in your diet. Um, I would recommend a fiber supplement, but I think it's best to incorporate these things into your diet naturally. So I think that we should start there, and if it doesn't make a difference, then we can look at supplements and things like that. Okay. Okay, so, um, there's really lots of fruits I would recommend. Um, apples, oranges, bananas, there's so many fruits out there. Um, most of them all contain some sort of fiber, so you should be good on that end. But definitely try to get at least a whole serving five times a day. Um, so with breakfast, I'd have maybe a banana. And then with lunch, try to maybe even some um, raisins or some kind of um, dried fruit would be a great option for you. Um, if you don't want to have a fruit with dinner, I would recommend some kind of fruit as a dessert. Um, even oatmeal with fruit in it for breakfast, things like that. If you need recommendations, we do offer a pamphlet when you head out today at the um, secretary's desk. There are lots of pamphlets, and there is one for fiber-rich foods and even some recipe recommendations, so you can grab that on your way out. 
Mm -hmm. And of course, there's the internet at your disposal to find more fiber-rich recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and you said for your movement that you do some light yoga and just walking. I think that's great. Just getting your body moving in any capacity is wonderful. You did mention that you've had to trouble since you've had these gut issues. Um, I know that these gut issues can definitely cause you to feel sluggish, but moving your body is a great way to get everything in your body moving as well. Um, if you stay too sedentary, um, your body will start to move slower on the inside as well. So metabolisms and things like that will also slow. Um, if you can, just try to get moving even in the smallest way. Like I said, that yoga you're doing is great. Um, the walking is great. Try walking on some different terrain instead of just a street, maybe a hike. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can amp that up slowly as well. You don't have to go right into it. Um, you said about five days a week you do this. So, you know, just go from what you're doing right now maybe to a little bit more of like a medium impact. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, great, great. Um, just want to see if there's anything else I wanted to mention to you today. Is there any questions that you have for me? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. Um, acne can have a lot to do with your gut health. Um, have you always had acne or is this something new that's come around basically the same as since you've had these other issues? Yeah. Yeah, well, when your body is containing all of that kind of waste and not releasing it, um, it can definitely show by congestion in the skin. Um, honestly, this is the kind of thing that the in internal parts of your body will connect to the outside rather than if you use an acne wash or acne treatment, it's not going to affect this as much as it would maybe um, acne caused by wearing makeup or something. So, um, I think once you sort out the gut issues, your skin should definitely clear up, especially since you said that it hasn't really come on until this. Mm hmm And of course, the intake of water will help with that as well. Mm hmm Do you find that your skin is dry as well as acne prone, or are you just developing this acne recently and your skin otherwise feels the same? Mm hmm Yeah. Then I think that once we sort out this gut health, and, you know, get you balanced internally, um, the acne should definitely clear up. If not, like I said, you can always call or come back for another appointment and we'll discuss that. But from what you've told me, it seems like the acne is definitely caused by your gut issues. Mm -hmm. I did want to ask, um, has your diet changed recently or anything changed? I know you mentioned that nothing really happened and it just kind of came on suddenly, but um, it could have been maybe you were on antibiotics at some point. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I definitely think these dietary changes and, and more water intake, cutting down on soda, should definitely help you have more regular bowel movements. Um, I know this is not a sexy topic to discuss, but um, your gut is so important to the rest of your body. Like you said, with your acne and everything, um, your hair can look more dull, your skin everywhere can just feel more dull. And like you said, you feel a little bit sluggish. You can see how your gut really impacts the rest of your body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay. So no more questions for me. Okay, so um, right now I think we'll make an appointment for three months from now. Um, if you just mention that to my secretary, she can schedule that. Um, but if you want to come in sooner, by all means, just give us a call. You have my card. Um, and I think that is all. Like I said, please do call if you have any, you know, further issues or things aren't resolved in about two weeks, then, um, give me a call back and we'll kind of re-establish another plan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I think that we're all set for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I really hope that all of this gets sorted. Mm-hmm. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.